Hello and welcome to a video for SAP Business One. In this video we're going to show you the top 10 new features when upgrading to version 10.0. The first feature that we're going to look at is a new skin or new look to SAP Business One. And this new skin is called Belize Deep. Feature number two. Now you can see the company name and username are at the top and this is also a quick link to choose your company. Feature number three. Hiding and viewing the toolbar. So to increase your working area, you have the ability now to hide this toolbar up top, and you can do that by going to View, Show Hide Toolbar, and then it disappears. Feature number four. Under Projects, we now have a Gantt chart. So to uh, access our Gantt chart, we're going to go into an open project here. We're going to right click and go to Gantt chart. And here we have all of our tasks uh, with all of our time frames here and an additional um, feature to this we can slide and as you can see to the left our start date is moving with our slider. Feature number five, hiding empty address lines. So as you can see on the sales order there's an empty address line here and this will print out like so and it'll have a gap here but I don't want that gap there so we can fix that. So we can go to but set up business partners and address formats here and we already have that up and I already went to USA where I have this format set up and what I can do is I can hide empty address lines here I can update and now when I regenerate it will hide that empty address line feature number six is tab level authorizations so what we can do on authorizations here and we're going to use business partner master data as the example is there are different tabs under business partner master data and we can limit authorizations to specific users we can either give full read only or deny authorization on the tab level now feature number seven is an increase in character limit on groups so under, uh, for example, vendor groups and customer groups, now as you can see in the bottom left here, uh, these uh, text limits here have been increased to 100 characters. Also getting a character limit increase would be the remarks in general entry remarks. Now this has been increased to 254 characters. Feature number eight, there is now a link between a bill of material and item master data. So on item master data, we can go to production data and here is our bill of material type and we can click the golden drill down arrow. It will take us to the bill of materials and vice versa. The product number here, we can click on that and go back to item master data and they link the two. Feature number nine is the addition of attachments tabs to several different areas. So for two examples, I can show you under deposit, there's now attachments here. Under production order, there's attachments here. But also to add to this list, it's also under inventory counting, incoming payment, outgoing payment, inventory posting, inventory opening balance, checks for payments, timesheet, and journal entry. And the last feature, number 10, has to deal with the add button. There are now new options under the add button as seen here on a sales order. You can see that you can add this document and bring up a blank new one. You can add in view where you can add it and view the information from the current document or simply add and close. Thank you for watching this video. As always, please reach out to us here at support one with any questions. Click on the link to subscribe for more content.